throws me off when there's liquor sold in like regular stores because it's only sold in liquor stores around me. This is just crazy to me, like that you can buy this at Target. Try grapefruit. Ooh, orange pomegranate. Maybe this one too. Oh my God, shut up. Do I need Zevia? I don't know. This is so cute. Why do I like want this for my apartment somewhere? I love that. Little kitchen that we've taken over. I love <laughs> Little game room. There's a pool table. I love that the fireplace is in the middle. Not that we'll use that. Another thing I want to steal. Look at this table. I haven't been back here. What's back here? Oh, we have the primary bedroom, I think. And then another bedroom. Is this not just like the cutest? I think this is going to be Katie and I's room. I hope this is gonna be Katie and I's room. Oh, but this is so cute too. Love this. And then four of us will share a bathroom, but it's a huge bathroom. I'm so excited. We got our wristbands at Will Call on the way here and then we stopped at Target, obviously. Having in and out for lunch. Well, I guess it's kind of dinner. What time is it? Like three, so it's yeah, six o'clock at home. Yeah. Yeah, this is like dinner. 3.30. But it's 6.30. Oh, oh my God, it's dinner. It's Lun Lunner. It's Lunner. Katie and I are unpacking. We're sharing a room. Indeed. And I'm gonna film an unpacking video, obviously. But all before. of my stuff, yeah, I know this is the before. I brought hangers too, because I wasn't sure what the hanger situation was and I just wanted everything to be hanging invisible. But my suitcase made it. I was a little nervous to check a bag, but everything made it in one piece. Well, the bags are very beat up. Uh, <laughs> They're beat, box. but we're here okay we're all unpacked everyone's at the pool because i had way more stuff than everyone else so i was organizing all of it but we have some bags all of our boots all of our outfits enough for like three weeks stack of bays and then a table of all of our products and stuff i bought clinical strength secret i don't normally use deodorant like this i use like natural deodorants but obviously for this i want to make sure I'm covered, so I got this stress response. I figured that was appropriate. I'm actually gonna put some of this on and go out to the pool. It's so hot out. I don't know what bikini I'm gonna wear. I put all of my bathing suits in this little box. Let's see. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll do black today. I love unpacking as soon as I get somewhere just so everything's like out and organized and I know exactly what I have so that way I'm not like forgetting to wear something. I definitely overpacked, but I just need options. You know, I need options for every single day in case I don't like something that I did pack. But today is Thursday of Stagecoach Weekend, so we will be here until Monday. Welcome to the vlog, I'm so excited. This is my first time at Stagecoach, so I'm not really sure what to expect. I've only ever been to one other music festival and it was Gut Ball, which is in New York City. And from my understanding, that's very like, beginner on the festival scale. That's my baseline, but I'm so excited. I don't even really have my outfits planned yet. I just packed a ton of options. Those are both Katie and my options, but I'm excited to see what comes together. I'm gonna head out to the pool and I actually just washed my shorts. I washed my jean shorts. And if you are like me, then you know that you probably have to stretch them back out again. So let me put these on actually and use this as an excuse to make sure they fit again because once I dry my jean shorts, there's no telling if they're ever gonna fit on my body again. I got a couple new bikinis for this trip too. I got this one from Frankie's Bikinis. I went to the storefront in New York. Um, I didn't actually try this one on. I tried on a different style and then I just bought it in this color too. It's like a black eyelet. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the perfect image of just how hot it is here. It literally feels like a sauna outside. It's like the most dry heat I've ever experienced. Just as I suspected, they're a little too tight so i'm gonna have to stretch these out but if you missed my last vlog like my packing and prepping vlog you would know that i got a very botched spray tan i paid for this woman to like airbrush me and usually that's like foolproof they always do such a good job but i tried someone new and i just don't think we were on the same page about what i was looking for it's kind of like gray green based and like can you see around my armpit i don't love it but i have to make do with it and i actually have this stuff that I'll probably just try my best to blend my body out with. This is the Saint Tropez. It's basically like body makeup, instant glow. I don't know. I'm gonna try and fix it with that. Everyone else is by the pool with a drink, so I'm gonna go join them. But what should I make? Oh my gosh, it's one of those fridges that like opens two ways. Crazy. Okay, what should I make? I'll just bring a spindrift. I just changed because I think we're gonna go get stuff to grill. I actually have no idea what the plan is. I bought those groceries earlier and I have like some stuff, but I think we're gonna do like a group 
dinner situation. I'm wearing my little free people t-shirt dress that I'm obsessed with with these Burks that I'm also obsessed with. <laughs> and I'm just having the best time. I'm so happy. I know, it's the calm before the storm. Good morning, day one of Stagecoach. I just posted a TikTok with some outfit options so I can get some opinions because I did not have a plan for today's outfit. I think I'm gonna do, like I have a lot of like white looks, black looks. Per usual, I don't have any looks with color, but I kind of did all of like my black looks today. Those were the options that I gave. Anyways, we are gonna sit by the pool and probably take some pictures. So I did a little bit of makeup. So I feel like myself again, put some curls in my hair, but I'm not like ready for stagecoach. We have an Airbnb with a pool. So we're gonna like kind of chill at the house, lay by the pool until probably about like 2 p.m. Cause the festival starts at noon, but it's kind of like, unless there was specifically someone on from noon to four, which today there wasn't, that like we were dying to see, we're gonna go to the festival around four. So the morning and early afternoon is just gonna be hanging by the pool, probably eat lunch here. I don't know, just like chilling at the house. But this is one of the options. I didn't, I'm not even gonna show you all the options. You can see them on my TikTok because it's not like you could help me decide anyways. Skirt that looks like it's backwards, but this is like the front with this little top that I got at Urban Outfitters at the last minute, and then I put on these boots with it. I think that's kind of cute. None of these outfits are like truly standing out in my mind, so I'm probably just gonna choose whatever people vote on. Let's see if there's any votes. We also came up with a hashtag for the house just so all of our content can be like organized together. We're doing stagecoach six, hashtag stagecoach six. So if you wanna go back and see like all of the reels and TikToks and stuff that everyone in the house posted, go search that hashtag, cause it'll all be under that. Someone already voted number two. <laughs> behind the scenes making quesadillas with ground beef a taco seasoning packet there's some beans in there but i'm making some for the whole group okay i think it's game time i think we're all getting ready i don't think i'm gonna shower i'm just gonna let my hair dry or dry my hair i think it's wet from the pool and then i think it'll hold a curl better that way actually instead of being like freshly clean but it's soaked, I just realized. Do you have a hair dryer? I'm like a straggler, I'm not ready yet. I can't decide, I think I'm gonna wear this. It's kind of like more casual, but it's one of those things that like if I don't wear this here, I'm never ever gonna wear it. It's like I'm not wearing this in Raleigh. So it's like this chain sparkly bra, and then I put it over just a white tank top. I have on black gold day shorts, like my favorite shorts ever, they're actually comfortable. I hate wearing jean shorts, but these are amazing. Little brown boots, and my, regret saying this but i'm gonna bring this guy out today i got this is like a vintage bag that i got for like very cheap and it is on its last leg anyways but i think that's cute because it ties in the brown curled my hair and put in a couple of little braids but i'm gonna blast it with a ton of hairspray <laughs> Here's our grocery haul from hell. We filled our entire cart at Walmart, like entire cart, I'll put a picture of the cart, and they don't take Apple Pay. So we were there for like an hour trying to figure out Walmart Pay, which is like an alternative through their app. Didn't work, Katie and I both put like five cards on there, didn't work. And then I had to ask a stranger to buy our groceries and I Venmoed her extra for helping with us. But we're gonna make burgers for lunch and have a great day. It is stagecoach day two, but day three of the trip. I'm having so much fun. We got coffee this morning. Katie and I walked to get coffee and then we went to the grocery store where we had our little debacle there, but it all worked out. We're gonna grill burgers soon, but I'm trying to edit a couple of things. I'm posting my TikTok of like what outfit I should wear. There's already a clear winner in my head, but I'm hoping that's the one that people choose. Yeah, they better choose that they one. They better choose it. <laughs> Do you have a bathing suit I could wear? Yeah, I have a plethora. Right, videos are posted. I'm gonna go venture off to the pool. 
I'm wearing like an old bathing suit that I've had forever But I got these little clip on flowers because that like flower bikini brand is like super trendy right now But I have this bikini that I like and I just clip it on how fun I'm gonna have Anna take a picture of me because she worked some magic yesterday So hopefully she has it in her again today But I'm gonna go get some sun before we start getting ready ready and then have to go to the festival This was the best idea ever Two parts fruit juice One part lime and one part tequila. Ice. Okay, day two, outfit of the day. I'm wearing my little Colt guy set that I got in New York. I was so excited to wear this. And I have on these tall Steve Madden boots. Doing the same bag just because I like didn't find it hard to keep track of it last night and it fits so much So I'm just like, okay, I should just continue bringing this with me, but I did tie a little scarf on it for like dust or Pizzazz, I don't know nothing special with my makeup. I have my drink I posted a TikTok today of how we've been making this drink this is like our signature drink of the house now But I have on like a little bit of gold jewelry, but this is day two Day three. The number of water bottles at my nightstand is actually hilarious. Getting ready for the last time and it's like bittersweet because I'm packing as I go. Our flights out of here are at 11 tomorrow so I think we're gonna leave at like nine. But because we're going to the festival tonight, like I don't know when I'm gonna have time to pack up. Like I guess wake up early. And knock on wood, I have not been hungover the entire time we've been here. I think it's because every time that I'm getting a new bottle of water to drink, I turn it into a liquid IV. Like I add the powder. I think I probably had like seven liquid IVs, which is probably not good for you in the long term, but it's working in the short term. But I've been feeling fine. And I also haven't been like mixing a bunch of liquors and stuff too. So I don't know, knock on wood that I wake up totally normal tomorrow too because then I can have time to pack up. We're going to the festival today around 5 because actually on the app, if you download the app to register your wristbands, which you're supposed to do, you can go into the schedule and like there's a little button next to everyone's name on the lineup and you click the people that you're like interested in seeing that day and it makes you a list and it'll send you reminder like notifications to your phone like oh so and so is at this stage like start walking there which is so cool which is really helpful so we've been doing that and today the first person we want to see i believe is at 5 40 so we're gonna leave here on five it's almost three and people are coming over at three um but i'll just be getting ready while they're here i'm gonna make my last help me choose my outfit tiktok too and these are the options i'm already leaning towards the denim dress but i also have this little corset thing that i got from urban outfitters and then i got this top too which like kind of ties right there and i think that would be cute with black shorts I will say like shorts was definitely more comfortable than the skirt option yesterday, but lesson learned, I will not be walking in these boots long distances ever again. I didn't even get necessarily like blisters per se, like on my heel or my toes or anything, but the bottom of my foot is destroyed, like the actual sole of my foot. Um, so yeah, those boots were not made for walking. Okay, I think I've locked in day three outfit. I'm gonna do the little corset that I got at Urban over this Princess Polly white skirt. My brown boots, cause these are actually so comfortable. These are extremely comfortable. And then the same little Louis Vuitton bag just because I have everything in it and it kind of ties in the brown. It's giving pirate a little bit. I need to use this as an excuse to wear things that like I cannot wear in Raleigh, North Carolina. And the other options I feel like I could wear there so I just need to wear stuff like this. Katie's on bartending duty. What's your what's your signature drink? Um, I, I see, unlike you, I didn't measure. I don't do like one part, oh God, two part. Song. I just throw a bunch of things. It's like called the, the dumpster fire. <laughs> She used guava, kombucha, tequila, lime. and then lime, but was it flavored seltzer? Just uh, that one, yeah. Oh, it's a lemon. New recipe. That's it. Is it only four? Cheers. If the ocean was beer and I was a duck, I'd swim my way down and then drink my way up. But the ocean ain't beer and I'm not a duck, so let's stay right here and get fucked up. Early tell me We've got a straggler. Happy stage come! 